when I first got on the fixie, like I had come from road. So I was like, wait, you guys ride this shit with no brakes? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, but you can put a brake on there. They're like, yeah. I'm like, you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> Dude, I almost bought some Jordans just now, man. It takes too long. <laughs> Got me on Instagram shopping for Jordans. Like, serious in my head, I'm like, yo, people die on this shit. <laughs> Do I know how to ride a fixie? <laughs> so, I rode it to get the bagels, yeah. and I was like, oh shit, it's a, it's a bike. <laughs> cool, man. Well, we're gonna start this off. State your name. <laughs> Justin Williams. California elite. <laughs> the world knows you as the road bike American champ for crit and road, which is sweet. Congratulations on that. That was Thank tight. You. Thank but you. How does that translate to the fixed gear stuff for you? Uh, the reason I love fixed gear racing so much is like it embodies like all the coolest parts of, of crit racing, okay. but it adds some other elements. So like now all of a sudden you got to find the right gear that works. You gotta pick the right tire pressure. Like, what gear ratio are you running? What gear ratio are you running? Right now? Yeah. 4719. Damn, all right. Then I've never 47, done that before. 4719. Is it climb before the climb, guys? This is it. Why well, is it start to suffer? This is where the KOM points come in. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting polka dot today? <laughs> <laughs> you can keep it. I don't want you it. You ever do some real aggressive shit in your car and they get stuck at the red light and they pull up behind you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've been the person to pull up behind somebody oh, yeah. or next to them and be like, you ever look at the side of someone's face and they know you're looking at them? <laughs> yeah. How many things can they do in their car? I'm that guy. You? <laughs> I do the same thing in crits though. Oh, yeah. If you do something sketchy in a crit, you're going to feel me looking at the side of your face. <laughs> Is there like a big difference between Northern California crit racing and Southern California crit racing? We don't speak <laughs> about Northern California here. Oh, Cut. My, my bad, my bad. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. Okay. Like there's great riders from NorCal. Um, they have a good, they have great races. Yeah. The, the, the dynamic is just different. I would say the difference is they ride fast, really hard in straightaways. Okay. And we ride fast all the way around the course. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> so I did there? <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it at that. What is it, USADA? Yep. What's that like? Do they? How's that all work? Like, so, you, they gotta know where you are, cause it'll just show up at like whatever time, and you gotta pee in the cup. But like, how are they gonna just invade your life like that? Yeah, it's the thing, man. They say it's for the betterment of the sport. You saw it. <laughs> <laughs> at what point in your cycling career did this whole you saw the thing become very real? One year before rock racing, I won track nationals. Okay. They're like. Right, this word, good sir. It's a drug test. I was like, I'm 17. <laughs> they were like, yeah, it's a drug test. <laughs> it's a drug test. It took me five hours, dude. Just to squeak something out? Yep. You got to get good at peeing on command. The trick is to like save it. <laughs> you know in the race where you're like laid into it? Yeah. You're like, oh, man, I can really go for a pee right now. <laughs> no, I'm just going to save you gotta it. You got to save it, man, because you got to <laughs> pee in that cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. I'm like, if I win a race yeah. and I got to pee, perfect. <laughs> what was rock racing to U.S. cycling? It was this rebel team from California that that was true to California style and culture. Okay. And true to a culture that didn't come from cycling, that didn't like imitate European culture. It was like our own. Ah. Um, and that's what, that's what <laughs> makes the team so special. And then moving into this year, with the Legion of Los Angeles, yeah. it's the same concept. And we're gonna do our thing, man. Like, if you don't like it, that's fine. I hope you love it, but it's, 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 it's all positivity. It's no negative towards just like, to be what unique. cycling is. I'm just trying to be me and, and 
spark the interest of people like me. There's something powerful about representation, right? Like, 100%, man. See, you, you're never gonna believe you can do it, and I've always had a hard time believing I can do it because I, I didn't see anyone that was doing it. You know, that's so real. And that's what I'm trying to, that's my goal and what I want to change in the sport. Getting into cycling from playing all these other sports, what was that like, like around your peers and that kind of thing? Like, <laughs> this is that dark secret you I did like? <laughs> nobody. Yeah, I love cycling with all my heart, but it wasn't something that I was trying to share with like the people in my environment, man. <laughs> and I kept it a secret forever, dude. Really? And then one day. Somebody saw you? No, dude, one day I came out in the LA Times. No! <laughs> And goddamn teachers, <laughs> always trying to be proud. So the bad news was, it's like, oh, that was close. That almost <laughs> ended badly. <laughs> the bad news was, everybody knew I raced bikes. Okay. And they caught, started calling me the bike guy. Okay. <laughs> Which is not terrible. Which is not terrible, but I was a bike guy. But all my teachers started letting me slide on homework assignments. Ooh. I was like, oh man, I was training. <laughs> Couldn't get the homework done. Like you know what, Justin. <laughs> You gonna go do the tour de France? Yeah. Don't even worry about it. And I Where's was like, neutral service? Oh, you flat it? <laughs> dude, I hit that rock head on. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, whoa, yeah, dude. Very, very cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab tools. Oh in. my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at who it is. My hands. Oh, I got brakes. That actually sounds terrible. Because those oh, are definitely oh, aluminum oh, pads. Those are definitely oh, aluminum pads. <laughs> what is it? Nation's number one beast? Yeah. I'm going to start this off right away. How the hell did you come up with that? And then you Tell got Justin right here. I want to know. I want to know the story behind this. Because does, does Justin, does that make you number two? Or I'm, like, do you guys talk about this? Like, what's up? America's <laughs> second killer. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I come from another sport where talking shit and being like the best. all about yourself was cool. Okay. I won nationals and I'm like, oh, I could be uh, nation's number one beast from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even call me by my name. <laughs> my mom's all in the kitchen, Corey! I'm like, <laughs> who are you talking to? You got quite the YouTube channel. It's all those, like all the GoPro videos and stuff. Side yeah. note, side note, I want everyone to know that hear this. all of these videos are my helmet camera. That was and my I next point. Any, I don't get no credit. <laughs> so wait, hold on, Justin. Do you rock the helmet cam in court? You don't wear a helmet cam ever? Nah, he does. First of all, <laughs> I mean, all the dumb shit that you see in the video, <laughs> yeah, that's Justin. That's true. That's not me. That's true. I do use the camera 100% of the time, so okay. it is me. Justin is just a guest appearance <laughs> on, the, on the crazy stuff. It makes cycling look I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but like way more high contact <laughs> down here. Oh it yeah, actually, it, <laughs> it actually is. Though. And like, really, like we're not doing anything different. People are just now getting to see inside of the peloton. Exactly. Like, nothing changes. I'm less aggressive now than when I was like 19. Oh, for sure. I believe that. This dude like when was, I was like 19, he stayed on the ground. I was an idiot. He was like, <laughs> what? I was trying to win. <laughs> We're like, yeah, but now you're missing your teeth, man. <laughs> so Corey, when, like, so being the younger brother, Justin started racing. Did you guys start riding at the same time or like? No, actually he was, uh, he started a year before me. Okay, so just a year. Yeah, my dad didn't want to give me a bike. <laughs> He's like, let me tell you this story. And this is how I felt. This is my perspective. I like started racing, and my dad started spending a bunch of quality time with your boy. And I felt like that was jealous, dude. They were like, oh man, dad spending all the time with Justin. We were ride bikes too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we did. Bullshit, didn't. bro. <laughs> Corey, would you say you had it easier growing up than Justin did, as far as strictness of your parents and stuff? And Justin, no. was it way harder oh for you to? Look no, no, no. <laughs> my parents Corey is a brat. Oh my he god, is an only child. No, no way. Corey acts like an only child. Damn. Dude, last night we were putting these bikes together. <laughs> he waited until everyone felt sorry for him. It was like. Y'all gonna help me put my bike together? <laughs> and I was like, bro, you had all day to do this. You know his excuse? I don't know how to work on a track bike. Yo, come <laughs> Bro, there's handlebars, a seatbelt that comes on the bike, and wheels. 
So like, if you guys both show up to the same race, like there's gotta be a lot of shit talking at the beginning and like, what's that <laughs> environment like? <laughs> yeah, there's so much shit talking. But then like, it, it gets to a point where we get in the race and you know, we know what races are better for one another. Um, and we race accordingly, okay. same team or not. And we've gotten, you know, Corey's gotten into a little bit of trouble because of that dynamic. But at the end of the day, we're brothers. That's right, yeah. And we're gonna do what's best for us. You know what I mean? Like, if Corey wins, I win. If I win, Corey wins. Yeah. There's no, we don't even have to talk about it anymore. Yeah. Which is really cool. Like, he can watch me ride and be like, oh yeah, he's working for me today kind of thing. That's you know what sick. I mean? Yeah. Which is like all the time. Which is all the time. <laughs> I noticed that y'all dab hard crossing the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not like, I'm not knocking. I think it's hilarious. But like, <laughs> bringing that culture into like, man. you know, the rather square bike world. Like, how do <laughs> Again, know? man, like, I've spent a lot of my career trying to conform yeah. to like what cycling is. You know, right, I want to yeah. be this really good road rider. Um, and at some point we just got over, like, it, that's just like culture, man. Like, yeah. there's no escaping that. Like, right. you know, you're watching like a music video, or you're watching like something yeah. on YouTube and you're like, part of it. look at my Yo, dad. This is baller. <laughs> look at my dad. Like, this is baller. Like, imagine, yeah. like, we're not doing it for anybody, anyone but us. The younger generation of cycling yes. is doing the same thing. There you go. In America, like, I've seen kids, like, like guys dabbing in races, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> Tight. Tight. <laughs> what gear ratio? He, know. <laughs> he didn't build his own bike. Hey man, what kind of question is that? I'm gonna go got a on, a, on a wild guess and say a, a 100. <laughs> That's so wrong, it's not even funny. It's a 40, Hashtag, got a 4816 on. Hashtag no cadence. Uh, this or that, disc brakes, rim brake. Rim brake. Hey man, we don't use brakes, bro. I don't brake, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Carbon or aluminum? Come on, man. Yeah, but Sagan's riding an aluminum bike. Leg hey, warmers hey. or knee warmers? <laughs> Don't ever wear those again. Don't ever. We're going to throw those away. We're going to sacrifice those to the cycling gods. <laughs> like, they got to go. So that was a pretty pretty uh, emotional response. <laughs> <laughs> so leg warmers. So leg warmers is the answer. In and out or, yeah, let's go five guys. Oh. Well, five guys is like your whole paycheck, so. I will go in and out. You guys live out here in the West where in and out is like normal. Right. And it's like you can just go whenever. Yeah, but you don't go whenever because the line is usually wrapped out around the fucking, like, the, out the, out the building. But that's what I don't understand. Like, you guys can just get it whenever. Like, why is like, all the hype? Like, for me, it's cool because, like, it doesn't exist where I'm from. Because, so I come down here and because it's people that don't live here <laughs> are always running to the line. Yeah. And I'm we making, can't get our in and out. Kobe or LeBron? Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Come on, man. You're asking these rude questions. Well, you know, I'm talking about LA. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be honest, man. Don't do it, I'll crash you out. <laughs> Major motion was a big part of like your whatever introduction to cycling and stuff. Like, and there's been so many people coming out of that. Like, yeah. Can you guys talk on major motion for a sec? I mean, major motion is so impressive just because like of the the talent that has developed from that team. Like, we had like Corinne and Alexis and Kendall Ryan, like the Ryan sisters, Morgan, their brother. Um, you know, Kendall's won stage one of Tour of California, California last year. Yeah. And Alexis rides for Kenyon Shrimp. Corinne's one of the best riders in the Pro Tour, attacking the World Championship. Like, there's been crazy talent out of that program. And, you know, I don't know if it, get, it gets recognized enough for everything it's done at least in our community. And like California, like that team, it has to be one of the most successful programs in terms of getting kids to the next level. Her dad would ride a scooter all the time. So if we were riding too slow, he would like come up next to us on the scooter and make us ride faster. <laughs> and then at the end of the ride, he would sit in front of us and we do Karen sprints off the motor. Yo! For speed signs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you're ever wondering how Corinne got so good <laughs> at sprinting, that's it. <laughs> her dad motor praises that we did Karen sprint. Okay. And her mom and dad like always rode tandems. Okay. I think that's how she got into it. Right. Which is crazy. Yeah. Imagine your parents like doing tandem. riding tandem for fitness and together time. 
Yeah. And then you birthed Corinne Rivera. Yeah, boom! <laughs> oh, fitness, togetherness. <laughs> Corinne Rivera. You guys got that bicycling cover may of the magazine there. What does that mean to you guys? Like, that was huge. I didn't, I thought it was a big deal, but like, when we, when we go out and people are like, bring in magazines to sign. No, really? It makes yeah. it that much more special, man. Like, it's super cool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that cool. And it was incredible, man. Like, I've been in this sport for a long time and I never felt comfortable telling my story. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. We're currently at 1,000 meters and we have climbed 1345. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. My legs hurt, man. Yeah, Stop crying. <laughs> Crazy. That was fun. Hey, this gear is way too small. Too small? Our gear is like fucking like, for real, our gear is like eight inches smaller than you. Well, now I'm gonna pay the price. So we had a question come in from one of our fans, uh, a guy by the name of Phil Guyman. <laughs> and he wanted me to ask you if you've ever even been to the top of Baldy on your bike. I've only Damn. been to the top of Baldy uh, when I was going to tour California. That's one City. time that you went up to Baldy. Dude. Oh, there wasn't no story. Was, okay, so this is what happened. There ain't no story there. Every time Tour California comes to Mount Baldy, we ride to the top of the ridge, and I'm talking, and I'm like enjoying conversation, and like, I don't hear Corey. I was suffering, and I was like, What's going on with me right now? Corey's like, I didn't use the bathroom. And I was like, I'm just gonna stop with you. It's not a big deal. I don't Why need you to stop on me, man. Okay, I'm gonna ride to the top. So I ride to the top and I'm waiting around. 10 minutes go by. I'm like, all right, 20 minutes go by. Where the hell is Corey at? So I go on the portal potty, I close the door. I was like, oh, it's the clean. <laughs> And then like 30 minutes go by and I finally see this dude coming up the hill and I'm like, yo, what happened? Man, you won't believe this. <laughs> I just passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> and that's why we don't go to the top of Baldy, Phil. 